Hello guys, it is Futon here, and today we're going to be bringing you a semi-guide on how to efficiently get the comp requirement done for the crocodiles. Uh, no, I'm not going to be going too much into flowers or anything on that with this video. This is mainly focused on getting your 5,000 scarabs caught, um, which re really isn't that difficult at all. Um, we're going to go into that now, but really all you need is just a way of getting here. Um, there are two areas for you to catch here. Uh, first one is here, which there really isn't too many people here. Um, the other one is all the way, if we open up the map, down here in the southeast area. Um, this location is fine, but it just really depends on who's on the world. So we're going to go ahead down to the southeast, and then um, that's where I normally do mine. So we'll be there in just a sec. Alright, and here we are to the southeast. Uh, please note that this is a very competitive activity. Um, you kind of want to just get by yourself. So the first thing you need to understand here is to equip the crop air dial to get the handling. And then now this is where things become plain and simple but complicated at the same time. So you click a crocodile to send it out. As you're sending out the crocodile, if you have less than 3,000 scarabs caught, you go ahead and click these scarabs here. And if you see here in the bottom corner where my... Uh, scarab count is you will see it going up but as you're sending out the crocodile you literally want to spam click these as much as you can and if some reason your crocodile will move um like the other scarab that it was targeting gets removed you can instantly click on another one and have a target and then keep spam clicking these um literally for all of them that you spam click it actually will go ahead and um, add them to your account, even though the crocodile doesn't reach them. Um, this results in about 700 to, um, I don't know, the most I got in an hour was 1400. Um, yeah, it's not really that bad. It's just you have to have to realize that. And the amount you catch on here, if you're below 3000, you can only catch three per. Um, and since and they're right there on the buff bar, so you can actually pretty well see it. So like right here, where it says two, I can hit a third one. Well, in the case of, and if you're above 3,000, you can actually hit five, which speeds this up quite drastically. Um, please note you will not get shells for the extra ones that you do click on. All it does is add it to the counter for the scarabs and nothing more. Um, like I said, you can get anywhere from 700 to 1400 per hour pretty easily. Um, and as a note, like I said, you, you're going to have to compete with people. So finding a world that's not as populated really does help. But as you see, every time I click one of these and the debuff counter goes up, I'm actually adding one to the counter for the, uh, the comp requirement. And it takes a total of 5,000 to get this. Um, I figured I'd make this and let people know exactly how I like, really do it. Like I said, the south side is probably the best, but it's up to each of your own and how much you want to deal with. Again, I would try to find a non populated world for this because, like I said, you are competing with people. And if you're not too fast at clicking, well, this can end up being your downfall. And also, I do want to put in a note that for this activity, you can only get statue pieces for the big statue in the middle whenever you, um, on the on the one that you catch with the crocodile bite. So like I say, if that one disappears before the crocodile can bite it, it nullifies your chance to get statue pieces as well. Uh, just a little bit of a heads up on that. Um, if you guys have any further questions, uh, just go ahead and post, poke me in the comments and I'll go ahead and answer them. But this is pretty plain and straightforward though not too intuitive right off the get-go so thank you guys very much and i will see you guys for the next one